Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am back. I've been playing around with signatures uh, for junk journals and I wanted to make one that had kind of this waterfall look to it. So I was playing around with it as I said. The finished dimensions of this one are five and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to give you the measurements for this one and also one that will be eight and a half by five and a half this way so it would fit more of a standard size uh, large journal. This is going to be a cute square one, but you can play around with the measurements yourself and see what you come up with. And so the first thing we want to do is to get four pieces of paper. So I have four, but because they're folded and you're seeing the back ends, you're seeing these right here. Okay, I will show you this one. I've just been, these are rub-ons. This was actually a gift tag. I didn't do anything there. Those are rub-ons, rub-on rub on I have a it's just a, a package tag and I use it as a tuck spot and this is actually a card game called reindeer rummy pretty cute rub on that's a sticker and then I put a pocket on the back with a little tag here that's actually come off a package for something so that's the first one and like I said you would just put your holes here and sew the signature in place you could also just sew this together bind it staple it and make this a really cute card for somebody that would be adorable for a, a keepsake. Okay, so the measurements for the paper on this one is you want four sheets of paper that are five and a half by nine inches. And I'm going to show you how I make the big one, but the score marks are the same no matter which size you're going to do. For the larger size, you need eight and a half by nine. So five and a half by nine or eight and a half by nine papers. Now, when you're mixing with these, it looks like it's a perfect square, but you can see if I turn it this way, it's not a square. So you want to figure out, you want the nine inch across the top when you're doing your scoring in both situations. Um, and then you want to stagger these so that you will get every other color. Now I'm gonna turn this around so that you'll have white. And then when it folds around, you can see what colors are going to come next, okay? So with your cover there, this is the cover. I'll set these right here. With the cover, you want to score at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to flip that over, grab the next sheet, score five and a quarter. Flip that over, next sheet, score at five. I'm always making sure that I have the nine inch one up here. Score this one at five, flip that over, last one, and score that at four and three quarters. Okay. Flip that over, now we have a set right there. Okay, so if we fold them on the score lines, oops, wrong way, there's one. Two. Three and four. And that's that. That's the signature right there. Okay, they're not perfectly lined up, but there you go. That you can get the point. That's what it looks like. So if you're wanting to do a size, you or if you already know what the dim finished dimension is, you want to fit into your journal, because maybe it's not the this is not the right size and this is not the right size. All you have to do is measure the height here. So that's one measurement. And to calculate the other measurement, you have to calculate you're going to use four pieces of paper, okay? To calculate this width, you need to figure out the total width, and then each one of these is a quarter inch growth plus the measurement of this. So let's say you have a four and a half inch is how far you can go. So it's four and a half, then you've got all these quarters here, and then whatever's left over is left over. So I don't know... Um, um, how big this would be, but on a four and a half, this would be smaller, right? Four and a half, four and a quarter, four, uh, three and three quarters, three and a half, three and a quarter, two and three, two and three quarters, probably two and three quarters wide for this part right here. Um, if you have a really hard time figuring it out for a specific journal, uh, message me and give me the complete dimensions from left to right completely and then top to bottom and we'll get that figured out for you, okay? So this is what it looks like. Again, you can decorate it however you want. Um, you can use double-sided cardstock. My experience with double-sided cardstock is that it tends to be pretty thick, so you're going to have a really, really thick journal at that point. But this is more of a lightweight cardstock, and it's all in the same paper pack that I got after Christmas on sale last year. 
but um, it's differing weights in the same pack, which is kind of strange. And this one is a solid color on both sides, which really helps me to get a stagger here. If you wanted, you could use three sheets of paper instead of four, and then you can have a little more wiggle room here that you can like edge the papers, so that that would be really cute too. So that's it. That's my project for today. Thank you for watching, giving me a thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel. Until next time, this is Lolly signing off.